Hey y'all, hope you had a really good Christmas. For me, it's Christmas Eve. I went to the store early. As soon as the grocery store opened up, I went because you know what Christmas Eve is like. Oh my gosh, yeah, I didn't want to get caught in all of that. Now to add on to that, it's been, it's going to rain all day long. It's drizzling out there. It's gray skies. I can't even see the mountains. There's everything's so cloudy. But in Tucson, it's a great thing. People love the rain here. They don't know how to drive in it though, because we don't have it that often. And, uh, I'm, I'm off the road. I'm parked in a place where it's got covered parking in it. So yay. Paul's parked next to me over here. Well, another thing too in Tucson that you do have to be careful of when it does rain, it does, because it doesn't rain that often, you know how oil is on the road just from cars. Well, if it rains when it first starts raining the first couple hours, that oil will mix with water and it's slippery. So I'm off the road for the day. Yeah, I'm not going to be out driving in it. I did go to the store and I want to show you what I have. There's a whole lot of things I want to show you today. It's going to be a little bit of a Piccadilly, a serendipity. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of little things that I'm going to show you and talk about. But let's get started. I didn't buy a lot, but I know you guys like to see what I buy sometimes. So let's see. I went to Fry's, which is Kroger's, Smith's for Christmas. I bought some biscotti for my coffee. Yeah. I like it. I like biscotti. Now they had cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Swiss. There were four for six dollars. Or they would have been like, yeah. Would have been over eight dollars, eight nine dollars for all this, and pepper jack, and mozzarella, mozzarella. Let me see, did I get it? Yeah. I'm gonna be careful with it. I don't want to eat too much cheese. What else did I get? I got some cocoa. I want some cocoa. It's winter. I'm starting to buy things and think about things that I'm going to want to get while I'm in Quartzite. So this is one of them. I'm going to try some of this in with my coffee too. Street tacos. Now I bought this. I know it's traditional roast beef. It's not probably the best. It looks okay. But I want to put uh, some of this a little bit on this. I put, I'm going to put the street tacos in a skillet, melt a little cheese on there, and put some, um, a couple slices of roast beef on it, or just kind of uh, shave it on, or maybe cut it up into pieces. Yeah, and then just kind of fold it over like a taco. This will make a great lunch for Paul and I. Get some more cough drops. I find the stores have been out of a lot of things, so I'm kind of buying what I can. And wait for after Christmas, you know, the New Year's, and see if they can stock up a little bit. Now, I bought this again. I already have one, but I do like split pea, and um, I like to have it ready when I want to eat it. This is really good roughage and uh, good fiber, and it's very filling, too. I used to make, when I lived in the house, I made split pea soup a lot. And I believe the rest of this is, I was out of produce. Two avocados, two. And that, they're both, yeah, this one's a little softer than this one. And I didn't buy a lot. I'll stock up on apples before I go to Quartzette, but I got two Honeycrisp apples. Been eating apples again. I bought a a sweet onion. I like the, the I like the sweet onions. They're more flat. They're almost like oval, and they're not just round like the regular brown ones. These are so much better. They're sweeter. And, whoops! Look what I got. Eighty-eight cents each. Really? 
Oh yeah, a pineapple. I tried to pick the sweetest one. It's a little bit soft down here. I think I'm gonna let this set for a couple days. Isn't this gorgeous? We'll just have to put it right here for decoration, huh? There we go. There. Okay, what else? Not too much, but I just wanted to show you what I bought. And I bought three Roma tomatoes. Beautiful red, aren't they? And I want to make a salad. Lettuce. This is a good head of lettuce. $1.49 now. I remember when lettuce used to be like 50 cents, but it's gone up. So, yeah. That's it. That's what I bought. Now on to the next.
save you. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Christmas is over, New Year's about to happen. So what'd you get for Christmas? Let me know in the comments, what was your favorite thing that you got for Christmas? I got some nice things. Paul got me a few things. Wanna see? He got me two of these, which I needed. I love these. 32 degrees heat. Their shirts, this material is like heaven. <laughs> Wearing this is so nice. He got me a scoop neck, which I needed a new scoop neck. They have all different types of necks. They have mock turtle necks, and which I think I have on now, it's a mock turtle neck. This is a, um, a neck gaiter, um, to side note, uh, because it's winter a lot of stores that we're going into require a mask so I'm gonna put this up yeah put this up yeah. and so he got me two of these and then the other one is a different kind of a neck wow so now and I bought a couple for myself so now I have like five or six things I could wear a new one every day now the one of the reasons I really like these is because it's so comfortable, but it keeps the heat in. And it's just so soft, wow. And these are perfect for the first layer of clothes you put on in the winter. Because when we're out boondocking, of course, like, you need to dress in layers. You wanna go ahead and put on like different layers for different parts of the day. But this could be your first layer. And it will, even at like 67 degrees, it's fine just to wear this. Maybe you can just pull this, the uh, sleeve up a little bit. So I got two of these. 
Now I also got a new, he got me a new tripod. I was a little unhappy with this tripod that I'm using. I'm looking at it right now. My phone is on it, but I got this one. It's a Bauer and I haven't actually used it yet. Get it out of here. It's got one element that I really, really wanted. And I'll show you. There we go. The, this is rotating. I like that. Now it's got the hook on the, but this is the bottom, obviously. And it's got a hook on this so you can attach something to it so it won't blow away. It's real lightweight aloe and the plastic's only got two, but the, they go really out. My other one has three of these, but I think this will be enough because when they, this is a little bit taller. But it's got this, look at that. Yeah, so important. So with, with the one that I'm using now, I have to like grab it to move it up and down. This one, I can just do it like that. I don't want to have to grab my phone. I don't want to be touching my phone. I don't want to be touching anything so close in there. And then it doesn't move very smooth. So it's got a level. And once I get it up, it does have a crank. You said you spent good for it. And it's got a nice handle. Do it. Now I will tell you. Okay, manufacturers, if you're listening, it came with one of these, I'll show it to you. Bad, very bad, unprofessional. If you're gonna charge so much for a tripod, don't give me this crap. It screws on, but it goes, you put your phone up in there. A lot of people just screw in their nice Canons, uh, Nikons, uh, uh, cameras but a lot of us still use phones and they want us to flip that up there well you think oh wow that looks really good well for my phone I have the case on it and it doesn't actually hold it all the way because I have an otter I mean those are most people a lot of people have those they're they're um, heavy duty protectors for my phone because they're expensive phones but when you go up and you keep going up on it there's plastic and rubber in here and eventually it just gets mishkebobbled. That's the only recent word I can come up with. And it starts falling out and it doesn't even hold the foam. Yeah, I'm not gonna use that. What I did was, I'll show you in a minute what I use. It came with another tripod and I found them on Amazon and I've got three of them coming. That way I can keep them on because I have that small tripod I still want to use this tripod. I need one for this tripod and I'm tired of constantly having to unscrew it to put it on here because I only have one and if anything happened to it. So yeah. So yeah, this is pretty darn cool. And I'll set it up in a minute. What else did I get? Oh, he got me another thing I'll show you. Yeah. Um, I went into this one store at the Tucson Mall by the way, we've been spending time at the Tucson Mall and Kimberly, hey Kimberly, um, she's been watching my videos a long time and we met um, in Tucson. Uh, we, she recognized me and we just, and she saw Paul and we just all start talking and she's now my good friend. Well, uh, I told her about going to the mall. She loves, she loved it. There's covered parking there and she's been spending a lot of time at the mall too. It's a great place for nomads to go to kind of get out from under the sun if it's warm or just if it's raining to get out of the rain but then you can just go into the mall and walk around and in the winter you got your Christmas ornaments up and decorations so the mall is a go-to place for nomads if you're going to be in Tucson for a while which we've been here almost two months and a couple weeks I think we were going to leave this week for Quartzsite but we looked at the weather, oh my gosh. 
it's gonna rain. Well, it's gonna rain all this week in Tucson, which is fine. At least we're on asphalt and we can get out of the rain. We can go into covered parking and we can just hang out and chit chat under there and get Abby out when we can. But in Quartzsite, you can't do that. You're out in the elements big time. Well, this Friday, it's gonna get down to 29 degrees. But before that, it's gonna rain for two days. Can you imagine? And we wanted to put up our new tent, our Kodiak. 14 by 10, I can't wait to get it up. Woo, and I'll show you, I'll film it and show it to you. I can do a lot of filming in there too, yeah. So we decided to wait till next week. Let some of the rain go, let, let the weather just calm down a little bit before we go. So we're here, My, <laughs> where did I go with that story? Oh, the mall. So we were at the mall. Um, Christmas Eve, the day before. It wasn't that busy, it was fun. Went to the food court and had some food we hadn't had yet. Been eating at the food court. Um, and we went in this one store. My daughter here in Tucson, she used to be a Christian, but now she's a Buddhist. She'll, she'll do, I, I've been praying for her, she'll, she'll do fine. And uh, she'll come back into the fold, I'm sure. But uh, she's Buddhist, yeah. So we went in this one store, I thought, oh wow, you know, they have, so we were looking around and we saw these singing, Tibetan singing bowls. Well, I bought her one. Oh, she loves it. But Paul bought me one too. And I'm not a Buddhist, but these are pretty darn cool. Let me show you. Now this is a wood mount. This is material, it's very soft material. And then this is the wooden part. These are made in Nepal, Tibetan singing bowls. And then the, this is the ring. The only reason I use this is to set it on and I'm gonna keep it there on my dresser. But let's see, let me take, let me take my glove off. Let's make it sing. It's kind of fun. It take, actually it looks easy to do, but um, I had to practice quite a bit. Let me get my, I've got my, it's cold outside and, and it's already getting towards like nine, 10 o'clock. It's still really cold. But I got my uh, Kemi Moto jacket on. Okay, so let me bring this down a little bit. There we cool I like it it's kind of meditative to just I could just I was <laughs> at one point I spent like a whole half hour just practicing with it yeah like I said I'm not a Buddhist but I sure do like it it's pretty cool so This is one of my Christmas presents. Now also got, <laughs> people are laughing about this. Got some bag balm. Like why would I get this? Yeah. Well, I mentioned to my kids that when I'm in courtside boondocking, my cuticles just crack, they crack. And it's very painful. It is really painful. I can't really do much. It's hard to put gloves on. And I want to keep them from cracking. So they said bag bomb. And there we go. Just 
just a little bit. Don't want to get, but keep it on my, I'm going to keep this on my cuticles. I may have my fingers. And um, the edges of my thumbs too. I'm just going to keep this on my fingers. They just crack up and yeah. It's not very pleasant. When I went back east to Cincinnati, I never experienced this being in Tucson, but um, the edge around my thumbs cracked. Well, I don't know if it was from wearing gloves, but it was bad and it was very painful. We'll get these, there we go. There. So I'm sure this will last me a very long time. Oh, they've been making ma um, bag bombs since 1899. For dry skin that can crack or split, hands and feet, elbows, knees, any skin that is dry, calloused, or rough. A little bag balm goes a long way. You will immediately feel a smooth, moisturized effect on your skin that lasts. Very nice. They use these for cow udders. <laughs> That's why everybody laughed like bag bomb. When I nursed my babies, yeah, I did have to get bag balm um, with my son, yeah. I know. Maybe it's a little bit too much information, huh? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, oh, it feels better already. Yeah. It's just using my mint. And I mentioned that I bought myself some handkerchiefs. Um, very nice to have handkerchiefs instead of using tissue all the time. Okay, I want to set up this tripod. Let's see how this tripod works. This will be the first time I actually set it up and use it. So this is the crank to bring it up or down. I like that. This is the screw to loosen this up. And then I think if you loosen this up, you just kind of turn it a little bit, then you can pan this way. This is so much nicer than having to like take it and grab it and go like this, like I have to with that one. And then what's this one for? Oh, this here, you loosen this up, and that's to tilt it, too. Okay, I'm testing it out here. To get it level, it doesn't just, something on here doesn't just move the way my other one does. Um. Yeah, it doesn't, it moves up and down and around, but not this way. And so I had to do the legs, which I'm not so sure I like that. Cause that means I got to get down there. You know, that's kind of silly. Yeah, that's silly. It needs to be moving this way too. Okay, we'll pan. Let's see the sky. Okay, so after looking at the tripod, we're gonna return it. Cause I couldn't, I couldn't turn it this way. And I don't wanna have to reach down on the ground to level everything up every time I wanna do a shot. Yeah, yeah, no. Tripods, to get a really good tripod, I realize now I have to spend the money. I, it's gonna cost me money, yeah. So this one that I'm, I had before is still gonna work for a while. So that's what I got for Christmas. Tell I me what you today, got. It's just starting to get. Can you smell the pineapple? Smell it at the bottom. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm going to cut this open today. 
on my tray. It's gonna be juicy, it's gonna be messy, but I'll just have to. These were only 88 cents, yeah. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. So, I'm anxious to go back to Quartzsite, yeah. Now, our next podcast is gonna, again, be about Quartzsite. Uh, we're doing some investigating, and I'll probably add it onto here. Some of you asked about the, um, the veterinarian, urgent care, and there was another thing. Well, Paul is calling right now. He's not having much luck in courtside. Nobody's answering the phone. So I guess if you had a puppy problem, I don't know. Well, we'll keep, he's gonna keep trying and he'll report back on what's going on with that because you do need to be able to, if you have a puppy problem or a dog and a cat problem, you need it done right away. And then with urgent care, I mean, you know, yeah, I know it's the day after Christmas, but people do still get sick and dogs the day after Christmas, so. So I really want to thank you all for watching this video. There's a lot of different stuff in here, little snippets um, that I've been holding on to, and I thought I'd just put them up here for you. So um, we're going to have a really great year. I'm looking forward to 2022. I really am. And if you really want to help me out right now, please subscribe. It really does help me. And give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching it all the way through. Um, if you need stickers or magnets, up here, minivanlee.com. And we have a really good episode coming up of This Nomad Life. And a lot of you, for Christmas, bought the book, How to Live in a Minivan, uh, The Minivan Leeway. So thank you so much. And then uh, next year, got a new book coming up. I'll be writing that one for y'all okay so one more video during 2021 to offer you 20 yeah 2021 okay go out there and have a really good day i i challenge you hey abby abby and there's paul right there <laughs> he just made me some eggs yummy they were good hey hey abby <laughs> Love Abby. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye.